Hello everyone and welcome to my 12th video. In this video, we will learn how to reverse the string and check if it's a palindrome. So for example, if we want to reverse the string Java, it should become this. And a palindrome is basically a word that it reads the same backward as forward. So race car and I are both palindromes. So our general approach for reversing a string will be using a for loop, but starting at the last index and iterating backwards and building uh, a reverse string. So let's first set up some variables. So our first variable string s will just be Java. And our second variable will be a reverse string, which we will build. So let's just set it as an empty string at first. Now let's start building our um, for loop and setting it to the last index of s. And our condition will be i is greater than or equal to 0 and decrement i. And we only have one simple statement in the for loop, and that will be appending every character to our reverse string. So this will build the string s backwards. Um, and let's just see if this works. So if we print reversed, uh, we can see that Java is correctly reversed. Now let's see if s is a palindrome. And this will just be a simple if statement. We'll check if s equals the reversed string and if it does we can say s is a palindrome so this should not print out because java is not a palindrome but let's say if we change this to i i is a palindrome and race car race car is also a palindrome so this code works um but now there's actually a simpler way to reverse a string. This just shows how it's done under the hood. But um, there is a class called String Builder, which is uh, basically a, a mutable string where you can append and insert, and there's a lot of extra functionality. And the reverse function is a um, is uh, um, applied in the String Builder class as well. So what we can do is we can create a new string as two and set this equal to i and we will instantiate our string builder class which we'll is called builder and we'll set it equal to new string builder s2 so string builder takes in uh, a string uh, as in its constructor so let's just print out builder and it should just print out i as we can see also if we reverse builder we should get i backwards, which is also i. And let's just test with Java just to make sure it works. It does. So um, now let's check if the string s is a palindrome using our string builder class. And all we have to do here is essentially the same thing. We do if s2 dot equals um, builder dot to string. We're calling to string here because builder is a string builder class and s2 is a string, so we just want the types to be similar or the exact same. Um, and now we can just say uh, if this is the case, s2 is a palindrome. So let's see if i works. i is a palindrome. Now let's do something totally random. Yeah, so it's not a palindrome, and then let's do race car. Race car is a palindrome. So that's how you reverse a string and check if it's a palindrome in Java.